Did you know you can schedule your Pinterest pins using Buffer for as little as $6 per month? It has to be one of the most affordable Pinterest scheduling tools that is a approved partner tool that you can actually use to automate your Pinterest strategy. It is a very easy to use tool as far as scheduling, uploading your content, the ease of use and getting around the whole tool. And today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can schedule your Pinterest pins using Buffer for six bucks a month, super cheap. So let's dive right on into that tutorial. We're gonna get started with a free trial for Buffer and we're gonna pay for it monthly. So it'll be $6 a month on the Essentials plan. And this is $6 per month per social channel. We're gonna try it free for 14 days. So you would go through it and do the free for 14 days. And then it's gonna take you over. It's gonna say, let's connect your Pinterest account. It's gonna take you to a screen and you're gonna connect it. And it's gonna look like this. Once it's connected, it's gonna bring up the Pinterest account. And you can see I already had one over there. We're gonna give it access. And once we have done that, then we can hop over to my website and actually just get a blog post opened up. It already has a schedule in here, but our time zone is incorrect. So we need to change our time zone to actually be in the United States. I'm in Arizona and it'll set your time zone. So if it signs you up with a time zone that is not yours, let's go ahead and change it. And this works really great for all my overseas people who are publishing for United States users. You can actually set a US time zone for your publishing schedule. So you want to add posting times. It looks like you can clear all posting times really easily and add them back in. So if we wanted to add every day at 12 p.m., we would just add posting times here. Now, one thing I do not see that's available is smart scheduling option. So what we would do is we would just come in and add time zone or time slots according to what we want. And it looks like you can actually individually remove them as well. Okay, now that we have our schedule set up, we actually want to look at uploading our content. So one thing most um, apps like this actually give you is a Chrome extension. So actually let's see if we can find a Chrome extension in their help docs. So go ahead and add that buffer Chrome extension to your bar. If you're using some other browser like Safari or Firefox, you will want to search in their help docs to find that extension. Okay, and we have buffer right there. It's the three little pages on top of each other. And we will need to actually move it up to and pin it to the Chrome bar so we can actually see it. And now it's time to actually schedule content. So I like to test this out in two different ways. I like to go to Q and see if I can actually manually upload the content. And we're gonna choose a blog post. And on here, there's a little blue button that says share image. I know I can get to the Pinterest description through the Tailwind extension, so I'm just really quickly gonna grab that. And then I'm gonna right click and save this image so I can upload it manually. I like to show you how you can upload content manually and how you can pull it in with their extension. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose my board. We're gonna choose Pinterest marketing and we're gonna drag and drop in our Pinterest image. We're gonna give it a pin title and a destination link. And this looks like to be the description box. So we're gonna put our description in there. We're gonna give it a pin title. The pin title is actually the blog post title, the beginning of the blog post title. Our destination link. And we're gonna add it to our queue. Fresh, a Pinterest image in there. And if we toggle over to the month view, it looks like we can see our content by month. So you'll be able to see your content listed in here in a week and month format. So I really like the option to be able to see that um, in that way. And this is really good if you are a Pinterest manager managing for other people, just so you can quickly show them how their queue looks. Okay. We're gonna test this out with the other image in this blog post with the buffer extension instead. So we're gonna go ahead and click share image and we're gonna choose a board. We're not gonna send it to the same board this time. And this is the pin title. So we actually don't, it's not pulling through all of the data. It's not scraping it in. So we will have to go ahead and add it to the queue and edit it. 
the same way that we did the other one. So let's hop over here to our queue and refresh our screen. We should be able to see that in there and we will need to edit it. See, it didn't give it that information, the same information. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to copy the description out, pull the other one open and paste it in. And then we will need our pin title. So this isn't the most intuitive way. I'm not a huge fan of that, how it's not pulling through the already optimized image. Each image on my website is already pre-optimized inside the media file. So it should have pulled through all of the metadata that I had fed through in the blog post itself, but it doesn't look like it did that. So let's re refresh our screen, make sure that our pin is optimized to the best ability. So I will say if I were doing this, the buffer extension seems to be a great feature, but it's not pulling through all the metadata. So honestly, as a Pinterest manager, I would rather have control over this like I do in other scheduling tools. And I would just upload the images here, manually craft them and then push them out. Um, that's typically how Pinterest managers are working in their workflow anyways. So as a user on the other side, as an individual solopreneur, I would probably do the same thing if I were you. So that's it. That's how you are uploading and optimizing your content in Buffer. The editing post scheduling seems to be fairly easy. There's just an edit button here. And then you would click save if you wanted to save the, any changes that you made. It looks like we need to look at analytics now. So if we pop over to the analytics tab at the top, we'll be able to see some of the analytics per platform. Our analytics tool work with Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Shopify. So that's actually one negative component of this tool that I'm not a huge fan of. You won't be able to see in a snapshot like some of the other tools, your analytics for Pinterest, and that's okay. That's it. That's how you use Buffer to schedule your Pinterest pins. If you liked this tutorial, if you got any value from it, I would love it if you would give this video a thumbs up. That way more people just like you can find this video and get some value from it. That's it for this week. If you enjoyed this video, I encourage you to head on over and watch our Pinterest schedulers reviewed video. I tested four approved Pinterest scheduling tools so you don't have to, and you can see the full buffer review right here. See you next time.